If you're tired of spending hours of your life searching and browsing through Spotify playlists just to find out that they're butted, not quite right for your music, or in many cases not even active anymore, in this video I'll show you a tool that will not only save you hours of searching, but will also make the reaching out to curators part and keeping an eye on the playlist progress a whole lot simpler. Let's go! Okay, let me show you the most basic way of using Playlist Supply first, and then we dive in deeper into each function that you have available to you. At the top, you have two boxes to fill before the search. The keyword can be a genre or a subgenre, an artist name or a band name. Below that is the criteria. The most common way of reaching out to curators is via email. Alternatively, you can search for social media, Instagram, Twitter, or just socials. Or if you put an artist name in your keyword, you can combine similar artist and email. You also have an option to choose nothing for your criteria, which will search and find all the playlists according to your keyword. I'm gonna go with a broad search, rap for my keyword and email for my criteria. Then click on search and watch playlist supply go out hunting while you EQ your snare so it's not sounding trash. Here is something that makes playlist supply super cool. This is not a playlist database. This is a real-time search engine that gets updated as Spotify playlists are getting updated, which means that the results are unlimited as you change your criteria and keywords. So I've searched for a broad genre and criteria, and we've got 306 playlists to look through and analyze. We can see the number of followers each playlist has, the number of tracks within them, and the owner's name. When you click on the name of a playlist, it takes you to Spotify and to that playlist. Now you might have noticed that some of the playlists don't have an email address listed in front of them. Here's when exact search function comes into play. Below our criteria, if you check the exact search box, it will narrow down the search to match your exact search criteria. Now let's take it one step further. You have four different ways of exporting your results over here. CSV file, Excel, PDF, or sending it to your playlist database. CSV and Excel are excellent for streamlining the results through an email software and blast one to as many curators as you want. Or maybe you're just an organized chap who likes to feed their OCD. Playlist database feature on the other hand has some cool perks. Let me show you. So if you click on this plus icon beside each playlist, you can select multiple and then by clicking on save to my playlist database, you send them to your playlist database. Then on the top right, you can open your playlist database. In here, you have an update button which you can use once per day. This gives you the ability to keep an eye on the daily changes of each playlist, whether it's the number of followers or tracks, to have a better understanding of the health and progress of each playlist. Obviously, if you click on update and you see a crazy jump up or down on the follower count of a playlist, that should tell you something. I know, I know your eyes must have crossed, tried the new organic search feature a few times and you're wondering why the hell is he not talking about that. It says new, I want something new, show me something new for God's sakes. Chillax bro, let me explain. Obviously, as it says, it's a new feature, so it must be yummy. Okay, let's click on it. By searching through this new feature, you'll target Spotify's high quality discovered on playlists, which are the top sources of artist discovery. Your keyword must be an artist name. So I'm gonna go for Ellie Duhay. Click search and once again, spend some time on your low end while Playlist Supplies goes out hunting for discovered on playlist and their playlist owner's contact info directly from the artist's page. This feature works with the credit-based system. One to five contacts equals one credit, while plus five contacts equals two. However, credits will only be deducted if you get results. Playlist Supply allows you as an artist, manager, or even label to create your own database of contact information that's unique to the music you're trying to promote, and also allows you to make informed decisions based on real-time data. I believe that this is currently the best and most advanced tool to find and get placements on Spotify playlists. So let's look at different plans that you can sign up for. You can start using Playlist Supply for only $19.99 a month, and from there, you can start upgrading to more advanced plans. If you decide to go for the basic plan, you don't get any credits, for the discovered on playlist search. But if you move on to the $24.99 indie plan, you get 25 credits for the organic playlist search. And that number increases for the viral and record label plans. If you have any questions, playlist supply team is always available to help you via DM or even a demo call. So don't hesitate to reach out to them. Obviously use the comment section if I can be of any help. However, if you found this video helpful and you want to help me, click that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.